network. Coach, what did you like? What did you like in the way that you were able to grind out a W here? Uh, fourth quarter defense. You know, we, we turned it up. Um, held them to 22. I think they had a couple late buckets, too. And uh, when we were just, um, you know, I put it to bed. So uh, I was proud of that. Um, I thought everyone contributed. And I thought it's a, this is a, a trap game. You know, you, you have a winning streak on the West Coast. Uh, you, you fly back across the country. Uh, getting acclimated to to family and friends and uh, time zone and all that stuff, and you play a team you beat a week ago. You know it's it's a trap game. So I was I was proud of you know the uh, the focus it wasn't wasn't always pretty, but um, you know they wanted to win and they got the stops when they needed them. I feel like a game like this from Bruce Brown was you know bound to happen. You know what have you seen in this game and what he's, has he been able to you know contribute uh, that that lend himself to have a night like this. Well, Bruce is remarkable. I mean, you know, the guy is, uh, I think, I believe he mostly played point guard last year and he's, he's playing, what do you want to call him? Our center. Um, you know, he, he, he's picking and rolling and finishing with two bigs in the lane. Uh, his, his willingness and ability to do that is, is remarkable. Um, you know, he made some threes tonight, but for me, it's all the other stuff. You know, it's, it's the the activity, the defense, the deflections, um, all those other things. You add it all up, and he had a big impact on the game before you even get to the points. So, uh, fantastic effort from Bruce. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Steve, you acknowledge this is a, a trap game. I mean, between the travel and Sacramento's record, and we obviously that's been discussed ad nauseum. I mean, is this a game that you might not have won, say, two, three weeks ago? Certainly, you know, I think, um, you know, I, I, I think that's a, a fair statement. Um, you know, we, we, we've grown, we've come together a lot more. You can just feel the energy amongst the players, um, the bond that's formed. And, you know, that's something that you have to invest in every day in that connectivity, like I, I always say. And, you know, the guys are investing that energy and support into each other every night. And that, that makes you tough to beat. So. Um, you know, I think we've turned a corner in that respect. We're getting a little bit better at everything we do. And uh, tonight, you know, let's let's not forget, um, you know, Jeff Green, who's been so important to us, was out. Uh, TLC out. Landry, you know, gets gets dinged up and is out. And uh, we, we patched it together and had people step up and make plays. So uh, great team effort. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, you got Nick to play about 14 minutes tonight. Just what do you think of him in his season debut, as, given, as you said, the, the long layoff he's had? I thought he was great. You know, um, not an easy thing to do. He hasn't played in a basketball game for a year or more. Um, so to have him come out there and to be active and to look, you know, as fluid as he did, you know, he, he, that's not easy. And I thought he, he, he really helped us tonight. So, you know, I think he's got a, a really good future. Uh, how soon uh, that'll come is yet to be seen, but he can make an impact for us. and. If he can slowly gain experience here and and get in the rotation, you know, it gives us another player for depth. It gives us a player with length and uh, athleticism. So, you know, it's, it's great to have him back. Steve Lichtenstein with WFAN. Hi, Steve. Uh, the way that Bruce uh, is able to find seams in the middle of the paint, is that translatable for a guy, let's say, like Andre, who you got? one of your first looks at tonight. So what did you think of him and can he be used in that way as well? A little bit. I mean, I, this like Bruce makes it look easy. It's not easy to be a six, three guard and be picking, rolling, catching the ball, finishing. Um, you know, Andre's a very intelligent player as well. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't want to put that on him. You know, he can do some picking and rolling for sure. And he can definitely guard some bigger players, but, uh, Bruce is special in that he can do that. That's you know, it's not a normal thing to ask, uh, you know, a six three guard to kind of be the roller. And uh, so his ability to do that and to finish and to have the timing and um, and willingness, frankly, you know, I, I know a lot of a lot of guards would laugh you out of the gym if you you ask them to, to pick and roll. So um, you know, it's, he's a winner and he plays hard. And I think that skill is is uncanny. So. Um, you know, I don't want to put that on Andre or anyone else, but uh, 
you know, if they can do some of the things that he can do uh, to, to gain minutes for their defensive abilities, you know, that, that would be a bonus. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, between that first quarter offense and that fourth quarter defense, is, is that pretty much what this team is striving to be able to do over the long haul of the season? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I think our defense has improved. Uh, we've we've been good in stretches. We still need to be more consistent. And, um, you know, tonight I think some of that was all the parameters of getting back from this trip, playing a very difficult offensive team, uh, and, you know, playing a bunch of guys that haven't played for us this year. So a lot of things thrown in there. But uh, overall, we, we had our stretches defensively, and um, in particular, they went accounted. But uh, um, a long way to go there, but we – we are improving, I think, every week. Back to Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I'm just curious. You only had 300 fans in here tonight, and you guys were still pumping in the crowd. But were you still able to hear you know, their impact on things? Yeah, a little bit. You can hear them. Um, you know, I'm not going to say it was, uh, you know, uh, Friday night, uh, 18,000. But, um, you know, it was nice to have people in the building. I thought it gave us a little bit more life and uh you know hopefully it's a very safe and you know um and just the beginning of bringing in fans so um a little 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 things like that i think give the players a boost in that it has been a, a difficult year and, and as long as we can do it safely uh, it's exciting for everyone thanks so much coach we appreciate it thanks everybody good night